All right, let's take a quick look at a quick demo of my Zwift integration with a pedal generator. So first we need to uh, pair the uh, Zwift to the Arduino uh, Bluetooth uh, component. And so to do that, you just go to the uh, base page here with the pairing and um, click on the controllable page and then you'll get the um, device and you connect to that. And then we'll hop into some training here. So this is, uh, I'll just use Emily's uh, short mix here and we'll get started. And so initially the wattage was set at 49 watts, but then uh, as you can see in the serial monitor, uh, I got some requests to change the wattage. And this was, this is, I'm not touching any buttons or anything on the uh, uh, DPS module. Uh, I'm just, it's automatically taking the Bluetooth settings, Bluetooth um, uh, low energy fitness machine um, uh, service data and automatically changing, calculating the wattage and changing it uh, well, while you're riding along. So you don't have to do anything, just uh, enjoy the ride. And as you, uh, as those requests come in, the wattage will continue to increase. Um, uh, likewise, when, when a change to decrease the wattage comes in, that will also be uh, accounted for and the wattage will be turned down. So here, you, it takes about a couple seconds between each request to uh, change from uh, one setting to the next. So watch for a second, you'll see this change to uh, 105, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. So uh, up to four seconds or so uh, before it uh, changes from when it was requested to when it actually comes through. So there's some uh, delays in the uh, uh, time it takes to actually get the setting in there, but it's it's um, certainly manageable and it doesn't prevent you from completing the uh, each stage of the training. Like uh, you get the stars on the left side as you complete those each segment um, with a, a few second delay, it doesn't really uh, impact the completion of those uh, uh, those stars. All right, so then let's uh, flip back over to uh, actually doing a free ride. So just ride a route ride. Uh, so to do that, uh, we just go back to the main screen and then uh, uh, again, it should automatically connect if you wait a few seconds where you can prompt it by clicking on the uh, controllable uh, screen again and, and just select the pedal generator um, uh, Bluetooth connector. Then we'll just pick a route from the list. Um, and once we've got one that we want to ride, um, then we can uh, get started. And so this will give a little different uh, setting. So this uses the FTP uh, variable that I have in the code. Uh, I set mine to uh, 160 for this demonstration, uh, or is it 150? I think it's 150. Uh, and then uh, as the grade uh, increases or decreases, then that wattage will change. So uh, again, very hands off, you just, just go ride and uh, uh, you can change routes, you can give uh, ride-ons to other people and just uh, enjoy the ride and not have to worry about adjusting the uh, resistance based on the the terrain or, or anything like that. Uh, so uh, as you ride along, you'll uh, start to, you know, as, as the grade increases here, which it will in a couple of seconds, uh, you'll start to see uh, the resistance go up. Um, and if you don't like the way it's calculated, you can certainly tweak that. Uh, I think Zwift sends about half of what the actual slope is. So instead of it being a two, it's more like a one uh, percent grade that it sends in. Um, so then I'm just multiplying the uh, resistance by that, that um, you know, so it'd be 1.1 times the, the watts that we have. And, and likewise, as it goes up, it'll, it'll increase that. If you wanted to make it more challenging, you could certainly change the code to, to make those hills more difficult. Um, likewise, if you, you know, on the downhills, when you go downhill, it'll actually decrease the resistance. Maybe you want to cut that in half so it doesn't go down so much. Um, so you can play with the code if you want to, to uh, do those kind of things. But um, yeah, as you can see in the serial monitor, I get the, continue to get those um, indoor bike sim requests with different settings. The only thing that really changes is the slope. Um, and so that's the variable, or the grade, actually is what it's called in the, in the code. Um, but as that grade changes, then the resistance changes. So here we are at an 8% grade. Um, that changed my resistance from 150 watts to 209 watts. So 
um, make it more more uh, challenging to, to climb. So uh, I love the fact that this does integration with my pedal generator and it works really well. I've actually calculated out the, the losses for the uh, drivetrain and the bridge rectifier and the charge controller. You'll want to change yours to match the losses for your own setup. So with a tire on trainer, it's going to be more like 40% losses versus this uh, e-bike motor that I'm using in this uh, pedal generator. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is a really exciting project for me. I'm uh, finally able to use my pedal generator with Zwift. So uh, please subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye.